Did I grab it here again? Well, I'd expand on the tools that I use for soldering, so I invested in temperature adjustable desoldering um, gun, so to help deal with um, components that are through hole installed. So, anyway, let's have a look, see what we get in the package. Standard sockets. In my country, we don't use that, so I have to change it. But I already have the cable, and as you see, the, the actual device um, input is this is standardized. So, the, the, it, it, even if you have different sockets in Europe, the, the actual device um, so, uh, power socket will be the same. So what do we have here? We have, that is presumably for the um, gun, heating and temperature control, and then that's the suction. Because this has an internal compressor. So, let's see, this is the filters. Size nozzles, so box is empty. So, anyway, this is what the gun looks like. And then you have different size nozzles you can install. together. Aha, it's got a screw. So I 
get a screwdriver to assemble that. Open up the cables. Suction. Aha, so this is the going to have a look at the instructions and see if there's a filter that should be plugged put in in there before I put it in in there so it there feels it feels like there's a filter there or that has to be taken out and then I'm going to get a screwdriver just to get that fixed so let's um, loosen that screw tighten it up. So that's ready to go. Uh, there wasn't that much in the instructions about this here, this white one, but that uh, I'm assuming is the same as the filter here. So it's already got a filter pre-installed and then this adapter is just screwed in there. Uh, Tightly, it's plastic. Oh, very relatively stiff cable. So you have to be careful. You're not going to flip it with the cable. And then this only. Connector only plugs in one way. So. And then you have to screw it to lock it. And then this is the air sucking or so this should theoretically just plug in there. You know, just enough so it doesn't slip off. And as I said, I have, we have the same mains voltage as in the UK, so it's universally 220 volts AC in Europe. experience in using this so whatever temperature it sets I mean you know I need need like 300 to melt solder so I'm going to adjust it up now theoretically this should go up to 480 Celsius and it's 90 watts so that's not the weakest As I said, that with experience, one will learn um, what temperature is good for uh, what types of sort of things you're dealing with. So, yeah, you can smell it heating up. Heats up quite fast. So 
So I'm just going to try and press the button now. Well, that's actually quite... There is a little bit of solder in these ends. And that's applicable to all the ones that, that come with the unit. It seems like they're like pre-dipped in solder. So I got a bit of solder into the tube. It hasn't got a positive locking mechanism, but it is quite... It, uh, the reason I bought this one here is that it's, um, it's not, uh, yeah, it's not, not, I don't know if I ever remember, I found things which were cheaper, but, but then they lack the display, or they're just a standalone gun, somehow, um, and it's not the most expensive either. And the only uh, the only drawback was that it came with a UK plug, so this is mainly being sold on the uh, yeah UK. But as I said, that it's a standard um, power connector, so so it's not really any issue. And the voltage we use is the same. So anyway, what I did is I made a test circuit board, and that's just got a chip on it, and then uh, a um, a socket. And I thought we could use this to test. So let's see if I can um, keep this in focus. And I, and I only so soldered four pins just to uh, demonstrate the use. And I'm not in the most perfect position to do this. Let's see if I can. comes off. Well, that seems to be still pretty badly stuck on the at least the chip. I mean it's cleaned out the hole quite well. And it's stuck. I don't burn myself. <laughs> okay, I think I need more practice. No, it, it has taken the solder away quite well. But that is... No, look, it's actually... No, it's coming out. Look at that. Okay, which one, which leg is it stuck on? Looks like it's... That one that it's stuck on.
that will ah oh, they ruined that ah oh, that was just purely my own fault I didn't pull it out straight enough so just ruined it <coughs> that was stupid that was my fingers doing most of that <laughs> most of that damn Oh, but I, I think that if I if I do practice more, I think I'll do a much better job because I, uh, I th actually what I did is that I put the gun on it and then I moved the gun backwards and forwards a bit and then I sucked it out. So anyway, let's see what we can do with this um, this socket. Plus, I'm not in a very good position. I'm trying to show it in the camera. If I wiggle it backwards and forwards, and then suck it out. Wait a bit longer. Suck. Wiggle it about. And suck. That's two, three, four. Now that's more, yeah, as I said, in practice makes perfect. So that, that's more like how I would expect it to come out. But as I said, I, I already improved my technique, so that was to put it on. Ah, even better, probably move it around in a circular motion and then suck. And keep the gun on the, on the pin longer. And then, of course, that's the issue of maybe one should adjust the temperature about And as I said, this, this chip I ruined my, <laughs> myself because I pulled it out and then I crushed it with my fingers. So that could have been a much better success if I hadn't screwed, my, screwed it up. So I can't blame the gun for that. That was my fault. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, it's always fun adding tools, and um, if you keep following the channel, then you will see in future videos why I actually needed to invest in this one. And um, yeah, consider subscribing so you don't miss that opportunity. Um, merch is also available. You can buy me a cup of coffee or, or as I said, merch. And um, yeah, see you in the next one.